Hi, everybody. Here at Big Rapids, Michigan, the Bisons are on their way to the Final Four and the national semifinals after they win the Super 3 region uh, today with a tremendous victory over Ferris State. 16-14, what a football game. Paul Simmons, I just want to know your initial thoughts after this uh, tremendous win for the Bisons. You know, i tell you what, it's just uh, very humbling, really, um, to see what God has done through this football season. Um, there's a lot of things about this season that when – when the story gets told, is is going to be pretty amazing. Um, uh, stories of obedience, stories of confession, and and then stories of God blessing that. Um, I had no idea that He would bless it like this. Um, you know, we talked after week three, and uh, we talked about, um, you know, our exact words were, you know, God's going to redeem this season. Um, he might redeem it in uh, relationships. Form he might relation he might redeem it in um, you know adversity overcome he might redeem it in in however he chooses to um, and he might redeem it on the scoreboard but even if he does not we're going to honor God even if he does not if we struggle the whole way we're not going to give in we're going to honor God and 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 that's what we have tried to do we have we have uh, tried to do things the right way we have tried to uh, be selfless, tried to be awesome encouragers, tried to love each other, tried to hold the rope. Uh, all of the principles that, that uh, we get right from the Bible, uh, it's crazy how much they, uh, they fit football too. And, um, but I certainly, um, after week three, had no idea that, that he would bless us in this way. In this football game, turnovers, a big part of it. Sam Blankenship's interception may have been the biggest play of the game. They had a little momentum. Uh, Fair State did up 7-3, and I thought he had his interception to give the Bisons the football at the 18 when you would go back and take the lead there in the second quarter was huge. Well, you know, Sam has been a warrior for us all year. And I'm telling you, that guy has been special. I think he, um, you know, broke the you know broke the record for tackles uh, at, at Harding since we've been here. Um, you know, you want to talk about a guy that will hold the rope, that will prepare, that does all of the detailed things the right way. I mean, that guy is a warrior, and, and you know, we, we preach all the time. You do things the right way. You invest. You sacrifice. And there's a time when it's going to pay off. And, um, you know, it's paying off for him, and it's very rewarding. Uh, Sam is a special young man, and he deserves for good things to happen to him. But I'm going to tell you what, the, uh, the defense uh, all day, I mean, they were lights out. You know, I mean, they rushed for, I think, 97 yards. And 65 of it was on the first play of the second play of the game. Um, you know, I just uh, I can't say enough about the job that Coach Moat, Coach Tribble, Coach Bigelow uh, did with those guys this week, getting ready to play. And um, you know, it's it's about belief. It's about expectation and belief. And and these guys have expectation. They believe. Um, you know, they, it doesn't matter who they play. These guys expect to win, and they they believe that because they believe in the power of us, the power of us, the power of together, and the power of together uh, is, is really powerful. What about that last drive, the game-winning drive? Terrence Dingle, coach, seemed like he just took over uh, on that drive. He made so many great reads on that drive and uh, to get the football down the field because you, you got it back with a little over seven minutes left. It turned out to be the game-winning drive. You didn't give the football up. Well, there's no doubt about it. You know, you know I said to the guys coming out, I said, man, this is the drive of your life. This is the drive of your life right now. Uh, every every inch, everything we can do right now, we got to fight. We got to fight like crazy. This is the drive of your life. Whatever happens next, you'll never forget. You will never forget what happens next if we get it done or not. Um, but you know, I think again, this goes back to uh, belief. You know, I think those guys had no doubt what was going to happen, and we had several conversions on that drive that were huge. Um, but I don't think there was a guy on that sideline that had a doubt that we're going to go down and get that done. Um, and, and that's about character. Um, that's about having a warrior spirit. Um, we talk about having a warrior spirit, and because what we're doing is hard. Um, and, you know, we're not like Division One or, or NFL where there's a bye week. You know, the last time these guys and these coaches had a, had a day off was, um, you know, early August. And, and this is uh, – what's our record? I don't even know our record. We went 11 straight, 11, yeah, 11, 11 straight. and 3. So, uh, you know, this is this is uh, about to be 15 yeah, yeah. straight weeks. 
Um, so it's tough. And, you know, the separation at this time of the year uh, is all about who can handle fatigue, um, who can handle the details, you know, who can prepare, who can stay in the fight. And, and you know, that's why it's really paying off that we have recruited the right kind of young men, young men that are tough-minded, that are winners, that don't give in, that, that care more, that believe more, that love more. And, and that is always better than a collection of athletes, always. And then Tristan Parsley, I've got to ask you about him. Last year, Tristan Parsley sent us to the quarterfinals. This year, he sends us to the uh, Final Four. And, uh, Coach, uh, how, how big was that kick? I tell you what, it was it was it was huge, but I I had no doubt about it. Somebody said, you know, Coach, how come you didn't go for it that close? You know, I said, what do you mean? I got a guy that's a, you know, he's been a stud for us his whole life. I got a hundred percent belief in, um, you know, I I knew that ball was going in. You know, I just believe in him. He's he he is a warrior. He always has been, and uh, obviously that one was a little shorter than the one we had to win at Sioux Falls, uh, but but not less important. All right, Paul Simmons, you're going to the Final Four. The magical ride content continues, and uh, we wish you the best. Thank you, Billy. So the Bisons again win today. They're moving on to the Final Four, deepest a Bison football team has ever been in the national playoffs. With the Bisons for the Harding Sports Network, from Big Rapids, Michigan, I'm Billy Morgan.